Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Nibiria from Nibiria's Naturals and Casus for Evolutionary Empowerment. And we're just going to do the empowerment message, energy check. Burning some sage, clear the energy. <sighs> this little bowl is really cute. I just freaking love it. Anyway, when I say clear the energy, I mean the mind be clear too. Like, when I'm about to channel, I go completely blank. Like a completely blank slate. All I keep hearing is that song my grandma used to sing. Saying, Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. And so I think that it feels like the ancestors want to speak. Let's see what they want to say. What do your ancestors want to say? Top time on the clock. Time stands still, but it just won't stop. Tick top just won't stop. Hmm. Oh, y'all. Cars should be any kind of way. Well, that's what happens when you have a little baby who thinks they're all pretty and plays with them. Today, I did my first yoga instructional video. Mm, I should probably have better posture. Feels better. And it was nice. I mean, I'm going to do some, little, some edits. I am a person. I am a certified personal trainer. I just, hmm, I forgot all about that. I forgot that aspect, that dimension of myself. But I'm bringing it back now. Resurrecting myself. What your ancestors want to tell you? You're being resurrected. There's some unfinished business with this unfinished symphony here. I'm seeing this egg sitting here. There's a song. Um, unfinished symphony. The universe is not done. There's more that needs to be done. More frequency. More more music that needs to be made. Seeing the ending of a thing and the beginning of another. So, seeing a divine message saying that the cosmic egg. The cosmic egg is about enlightenment and rebirth. Rebirth of the higher self. The higher self is about to hatch. The soul's resonance is about to be higher. I'm seeing an aurora. An aurora. I'm seeing something like um, the portal. The portal of light. The portal of light. I'm telling you to watch. I'm hearing, be ye also ready. You know not the day. Then I'm seeing community, observe, community, and serendipity. So, um, the ancestors are coming back here. The ancestors are back. The ancestors are back. Watch the stars. Ancestors are back. Ancestors are back to collect their people. And to bring balance, to bring... Tell me who I have to be. Get some reciprocity. No one loves you more than me. No one ever will. They're bringing you, bringing abundance and. Okay, so you got a soul mission. You got a soul purpose. And as you grow and you work towards that, you'll be given the tools you need to succeed 
um, be that spiritual tools, gifts, physical tools, money, a car, a home, whatever you need to do your job, to do your soul purpose, to do your soul mission, that's going to be provided to you by your ancestors. Because you have work to do and you're not finished. Haven't finished yet. Some people run at the first sight of stormy weather. Some people hold on and work it out together. I believe in you. You believe in me. The rainbow ahead may be hard to see. We gotta hang on to this dream. Don't let go. No, no. No matter how hard it gets, we haven't finished yet. There's so much life ahead. We've got so much to do. No matter how hard we try. We just can't say goodbye. Don't leave me with regrets. Cause we haven't finished yet. Okay, so there's a work that has to be done. It is not finished. Twin Flames, you're not done. You're not done. Even if you're in separation, you're not done. Even if you haven't spoken to this person in years, or you haven't had connection with this person, this person has not reached out to you in the spirit, in the in, in the ethers, you are still connected. You haven't finished. Your soul work is still, um, your work is still here. You still have work to do. Um, some people run at the first sight of storm and weather. You're not built to run. You're not built to be afraid. You have experienced fear. You have experienced running. That does not mean that that is what's for you. What's for you is to complete the task. Some people hold on and work it out together. Uh, you got to learn to uh, work with your twin flame. Uh, you have to learn to. You have to learn to be more uh, transparent with one another. Speak. Don't run every time something gets hard. Stop, don't disappear when the energies get. You don't have to disappear. Um, but if you feel like you must, just know you're not finished. It's not the end. You're in a soul contract. You're in a soul contract with each other, with the universe. You have a purpose. You have a divine mission here. It's very important. It's pertinent to raising the vibrational frequency to the evolution of human beings. Why? I just answered that. It's pertinent to the evolution of human beings. Okay, so Twin Flame stuff is not necessarily... It's so, so many different levels. So many different levels to these things. Um, if we strip it down and I not go into any religious jargon, any spiritual songs, anything I remember from my past, and we just strip it down to science, it's, it's an evolutionary process. We're changing the way re relationships we're changing the paradigm, relationship paradigm. That's what we're doing. Changing the relationship paradigm, but we're also evolving the human species. It's not just evolving relationship, it's evolving the human beings. Because in the twin flame connection, what you do is you observe yourself. You observe yourself, the mirror is being held before you. The person that is your twin flame is your mirror, mirror on the wall. And what they do is they reflect back to you aspects and traits, bring those things up, bubble them up. Uh, they trigger you uh, and they evolve you, make you grow into a better human being. Uh, you go through bouts of depression, yes, during your separation, but at the same time, those are times when you need to ground yourself um, and those are times when you may be going through ego deaths. Ego deaths occur and they are personality traits that were learned in the matrix that may have been genetically engineered into the form that your soul manifested in they could have been um taught to you you know of course you come most uh the twin flames come here as a blank slate because they are created to clear the energy empaths and they're created to transmute energy so when they come in they take on this template and they uh they mimic the actions uh energies uh personality traits uh, Toxic 
energies of the bloodline that they're manifesting in and what they do is they clear that energy they clear that bloodline that doesn't mean that they don't end up having true problems psychological problems emotional problems addictions and stuff like that they manifest those things in order to clear them from the bloodline so that when they come back and manifest again on earth or if those ancestors come back they don't have to deal with that energy so twin flames have a purpose um Yes, they have to go through a healing process. As they are healing others and healing that bloodline, they have to heal. They themselves have to heal too. They themselves have to overcome these things. They themselves have to deal with the toxicities um, of these uh, energies that they are clearing. And it's, um, it was not, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for the weak. They were created for that purpose. So, you know, just know when you're complaining, oh, my twin flame's not doing this, they're not doing that. Oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. Oh, it's so hard. No, it's not. You just, what you signed up for, you have the ability to do it. Don't be afraid. Don't get discouraged. Yeah, you get afraid. Yeah, you get discouraged. Know that you were created for a time such as this. You're literally built for this. You're built for it tough. You're built for it. I'm tired of being tough. I'm weak. I just want to be soft. I just, I just want to be soft and feminine. I don't want to be hard. I don't want to be strong all the time. People who are weak wish they were strong. Are you complaining about being strong? I'm not judging. I'm just pointing out an alternative perception of the situation. I feel like that too. I get tired of being strong. I'd be like, why can't I be a weakling? Why can't somebody come pick me up when I'm sad? Because you don't need it. Because you have your own inner light. Because you are your own, your own excellence radar, radar and detector. You, your own true north is you. So who can guide you when you are the, when you are the map? So go the distance. Don't be afraid to go to distance. This is what you were here for. Run this race. I can go the distance. I will find my way if I can be strong. I know every mile will be worth my while to find. I can some some when I find where I belong. Um. Hercules, look, Disney cartoon Hercules. Look at, listen to that song about um, I can go the distance. Uh, do I have my phone over here? Mm, no, I don't. It's on the charger. Hold on. Okay, so I got it. Oh, just like magic, I appeared here with a phone in my hand. Okay. I have often dreamed of a far off place where a hero's welcome would be waiting for me, where the crowds would cheer when they see my face and the voice keeps saying, this is where I'm meant to be. I'll be there someday. I can go the distance. I will find my way if I can be strong. I know every mile will be worth my while. When I go the distance, I'll be where I belong. Down an unknown road to embrace my fate. Through that road may wander, it will lead me to a thousand years, would be worth the wait. It might take a lifetime, but somehow I'll see it through. And I won't look back, I can go the distance. And I'll stay on track, no I won't accept defeat. It's an uphill slope, but I won't lose hope till I go the distance and my journey is complete. That's for you. The full lyrics, you can look it up, you can listen to the song. It's, that's Michael Bolton sings the song also, so you can look it up that way. I can go the distance. Hmm. You're here to tear down. You're here to tear, to tear down, destroy the old belief systems. You're here to build new ones. You're here, you're a trailblazer. There's a light and it shines on the sea. It's blinding. No one knows how deep it goes. The wind, myself. The sea stays behind me. One day I know how far I'll go. 
Moana. There's a light, and there's, there's a line where the sky meets the sea. It's blinding. No one knows how far it goes. And it feels like it's calling out to me, so come find me. Your destiny is calling you. You're called. You're being called. And you're feeling pulled. Like Moana was always told that the sea was no good for her, that it was dangerous. Um, that people died because a lot of people died crossing that sea. A lot of people died looking for a new home. A lot of people died going out there to go fishing. A lot of people died for, you know, on the her ocean. Her ancestors died. And so it was ingrained in her family's DNA to be afraid of the water, to be afraid of the sea. And they were, her father would always tell her, don't go near the sea, don't go near the sea, don't go near the sea. And it was because he had been called to the sea as well. And he went out there and I think he lost a friend or a brother or something like that. They died. But um, that genetically that call was still inherited in, within her. And they were telling her... Um, they was telling her to stay grounded. Stay grounded. Don't follow the call. And she was following the call of her ancestors. And her grandmother died. And her grandmother actually, her death ushered her and pushed her out there into the unknown. And then her people were people of the sea. They were travelers. They were sailors. They weren't grounded people. They weren't people who were supposed to be confined to this island. And they were much were more much more than that. And so what she did was she cleared that fear out of her family bloodline by taking that, that voyage to go get Maui, the he was a god, a demigod. Go get Maui to help heal the earth. So um, the the story of Moana is the story of the light workers, the light workers call a, a light workers call to clear the ancestral bloodline, to usher in and make way for a new paradigm, for a new earth, a new existence for her people because death was coming to her family and to her island and she had visions of this death coming to her family and to her island and so her ancestors were calling her, were awakening her and that's what is going on right now peace okay so I did mention that death and stuff were coming and spirit is saying you know don't worry about those things, peace because you were created to clear it, you were created to bring peace to usher in the peace you're bring you're created to usher in the peace so that is the purpose go the distance to usher in the peace into your community into your family um you're being called you're you're observing you're observing you're feeling the, this call from the ethers from your ancestors from the sky um sky people sky people um let's see mm. Seeing a lot of fours here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 5. We're going to look at 44, 44. So I see an 8 here and I see two fours here. Okay, so you have a deep knowing. You know exactly what your soul purpose is and what you're here for. Um, your intuition is calling to you with this observer card and the community, your ancestors. This is your intuition and ancestors, your ancestors who are. Um, higher higher vibrational being ascended masters angelic angelic beings whatever you want to call it ancient aliens and uh, Nephilim not Nephilim Anunnaki um, energies they're calling you deep knowing here and now milk and honey okay so again I'm uh, this is coming under the serendipity energy <sighs> In the in the higher dimensions, you got you've already fought this battle in the higher dimensions, and your reward is here in the in the uh, more dense energies in the material realm. Because uh, I'm saying with this milk and honey card, a lot of abundance. Um, my children are very loud. I don't know why. Why are they so loud? Why are they so turned up? It's like they know. They know when I'm um, doing this, and um, they get a little crazy. I 
I'm not going to do a deep reading, you guys, because the energy is so dense. The energy is so thick. It makes me sleepy. It makes me tired. So, ancestors want you to know that you have not finished here. Uh, Twin Flames. I've seen this to the C card. came out in the beginning before I even shuffled. Um... <sighs> Creating, manifesting a new earth here. Manifesting a new world. I mean, it doesn't even have to be called earth. You can call it whatever you want to. Gaia. Gaia is her name. Gaia. Mother Gaia. The earth. She's already ascended. And we are her cells. We are her consciousness. And there's a split between her consciousness uh, the things that no longer serve the highest good of the earth must be she's going through an ego death she's in labor she's going through the birth pains of rebirthing herself into a new creature we are living in the body of a living being mother Gaia mother um, and most people you know mm, it was a long time before I understood this to the capacity that I do now but um we're her consciousness and her consciousness is split between the old paradigm and the new I just keep seeing a cell a cell splitting mitosis a cell splitting so it could become two cells the higher dimension is separating from the lower dimension. The five, fifth dimension is being pulled up and the third dimension is being pulled down. So those denser, heavier, toxic energies, traits, personality, um, they're, they're being pulled down while the rest is ascending up. And you are part of this process. Um, there are going to be family members, friends, people that you know. You have my children cutting up, um, doing all this screaming. Is people are going to have very difficult time controlling their emotions who aren't willing to ascend. And it's gonna create a lot of hell energy for them. I'm gonna be trapped in their own personal hell. You don't have to worry about that. Cause you got you got this milk and honey. Deep knowing that you'll be taken care of and your family's gonna be taken care of. You've done your work. Well done. You've done your mission. I want to close this reading here. 2246. Look up that angel number. I love you. See you next time.